No, I don't. You're lying, aren't you, Mr. Stein? No, you're lying, aren't you, Mr. You're a convicted liar, aren't you? Stop, stop, And and you're about to be ousted from the bar. Stop. So what was that? Uh, That was Roger Stone doing one of the things that you should never do in a deposition. Hi, I'm Jeff Doherty. I'm the president of Litigation IQ. It's a jury consulting firm. And probably one of the most important things that I do is prepare witnesses to testify in their depositions and at trial. And it's my role to make sure that what you're about to see happen with Roger Stone doesn't happen. Now, his deposition is one of my favorites because he demonstrates many of the things that somebody who's being deposed should never do in their depositions. And today I'm just gonna talk about one of them, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna show you the clip and it's just one short clip. And as you're watching it, I want you to guess what it is that he's doing that he or any other deponent should never do in their deposition. So here we go. Yes, I'd heard that. Yeah, where did you hear that? Don't recall. You heard it from Fitton, didn't you? I most certainly did not. Okay, but you spoke. remember that, but you don't remember where you heard it. Uh, I don't remember where I heard it, but as I've told you previously, I've never spoken to Tom yeah. Fitton other than the one time in passing when we shook hands. And, during and we that certainly one, didn't discuss and this. And during that one time in passing, you discussed this, correct? We did not. Okay. So you just gleaned that out of uh, I, the cosmos? You, you know how politics Objection work. People talk. Form particularly about something like that? Well, who talked? What, what, what were the circumstances who that talked? you're leaving? How would you who get, how, why would you leave an organization that you founded? Who, who, who talked? I don't recall. You don't recall? No, I don't. You're lying, aren't you, Mr. Stone? No, you're lying, aren't you, you're Mr. Clayton? No, no, you're lying, no, you're lying. No, you're lying, aren't you? You're a convicted liar, aren't you? Stop, stop, And, and you're stop. about to be ousted from the bar. Stop, let's take a break. Good time for a break. Have fun molesting your own children, Larry? Stop. I read the court decision. You read that, huh? Yeah, I did. You didn't read anything else. F- you. Are we off the record? Yes. So what did Roger do wrong? Well, actually, he did a lot of things wrong. One of the things that this clip illustrates is that Roger was looking at his deposition like an argument. And he treated it like an argument, which, of course, made him upset. He got angry. He got emotional, which in the end only made him look bad. It didn't further his cause. It didn't help his case at all. It just made him look like a hothead a guy who was prone to using foul language in even in a court setting. And none of that helps his cause, and none of that helps his case. It, it only makes him look bad. So one of the things that deponents need to remember is that they're not going into an argument. They're going into a situation where they answer questions, and, and that's it. So if they start to think about it like an argument, they're gonna lose. And it's not just that they're gonna lose the case, it, it's gonna harm their case but they will lose the exchanges every time when they try to argue with the lawyer who's asking them the questions. I hope you enjoyed this clip. Uh, Subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be putting out more videos like this, analyzing people's depositions and, and trial testimony and movie clips. And leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you think that you would like me to analyze. It could be a clip from a famous movie scene, a courtroom drama, or anything. An interview that you see on TV or somebody testifying before Congress. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.